Da, 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 top the well, we finished shooting um, the Deathly Hallows maybe like a year ago now, so it's been a long time since we finished. Um, I've been lucky enough to continue with the acting. There's a load of uh, a, a few ha a handful of other films that are going to be coming out this year. I got uh, um? Rise of the Planet of the Apes is coming out in August. <laughs> Should be really, really excited. I saw the trailer of that like two weeks ago. That looks really awesome. Um, there's a, like a horror thriller film coming out next year called The Apparition with, uh, with, with Ashley Green from Twilight, which is very exciting. And uh, yeah, of course, July 15th, we have the, uh, the final chapter of Harry Potter, which I'm, I'm sure a few of you are excited to see. <laughs> Thank you for your question, man. Is that your final question? <laughs> yes, it's. Thank you. All right. No worries. My pleasure. Hi. Hi. Um, I was just wondering, would you like ever consider going on Broadway? Yeah, you're joking. I'd love to. Um, who, who's seen? Has anyone seen Daniel's new play? Oh, yeah. And I've heard nothing but rave reviews. It's actually kind of weird because when we were shooting the last Deathly Hallows, occasionally Daniel would get up off the makeup chair and bust a few moves out or <laughs> sing a quick verse, and it was very like, okay, this wasn't the Daniel that I knew, but. I hear he's tearing up Broadway and he's bringing yeah. thousands of excited kids to, to, see, to see him, which is fantastic. Um, unfortunately, tonight I'm not going to get the chance to see him, uh, which I'm kind of bitter about, but I am back in July for the New York premiere, so I'll be making sure I go and see him there. Awesome. One second, don't leave the microphone. Come. I like putting you on the spot. I Please. just met you. But can you show us uh, some of uh, Daniel's moves? Oh, hell no. Come on! <laughs> the fans will actually, love you. Actually, I... Uh, you're, oh, you're go yummy. See, go see the show, guys. This is the perfect <laughs> advertising. I do actually have a little cheeky video of him, but I'm, I'm yet to have the balls to put it up on YouTube yet. We'll see. I'll wait till Daniel crosses me, and then I'll whack it up there. <laughs> All right, thank Thanks you very much. Thank you. Me. My pleasure, sweet. Hi. Hello, lovely. Sorry. <laughs> Easy. I was just wondering if you got to keep any of your wardrobe or props from the Harry Potter movies. Um, officially, no. <laughs> Unofficially, yeah. <laughs> we, only a very, only a, a small amount of things. Um, I was very keen on getting like a Nimbus and uh, and my wand and a cloak, but um, yeah, they've actually they've they've moved most of them to the exhibition here, I think, in in in, in Times Square. And there's one in LA as well. They've got a bunch of costumes. And in hindsight, it's probably better there than it is in my attic or in my downstairs loo or something like that. So, um, however, I did get Draco's uh, Slytherin ring, his silver ring and his type in, cool. and that was it. But I treasure it, they're on my mantelpiece. So yeah. It even has the plaster wrapped around it because my fingers were too small to fit normal size rings, yeah, when I was about 12, so yeah. Thank you, lovely. Thank you. Hello, thanks Hello, for coming to New York. Hey, hey. Um, thanks I'm, for welcoming to New York, yeah. by the way. The hospitality <laughs> here has been fantastic. I love New York, it's cool. I'm actually part of a really huge NYC meetup group. This Harry Potter group is called the group that shall not be named, and they're scared. Of <laughs> Represent. Um, All I right. know you go to conventions. <laughs> yes. Would you ever consider, if you have, I'm sorry, because I don't know, have, would you consider going to like smaller Harry Potter-related conventions? Sure. I mean, the, the, half of the reason I've never done a convention in New York. I've only done a handful of them, to be honest with you, across the world. And and the big thing for me is actually getting a chance to come and say thank you to you guys because everyone thinks that we started off on the first one with, ten, with eight films in mind. That was definitely not the case. It was specifically to do one. And it was only thanks to uh, well, everyone across the world's uh, passion and enthusiasm that we've ended up doing it for, for 11 years. So I'm personally very grateful. I know I can speak for the rest of the cast when I say thanks for your dedication and, uh, and passion. So yeah, of course, man. Any opportunity to say thank you is always welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So Tom, is this the best audience you've seen so far? 100%, man. All right, 100%. give yourself a round of applause. Thank you, guys. Hello. Hello, sweetheart. You all right? Um, so I have two questions. One, what is your favorite thing about portraying Draco as a character? And two, um, if you could play any other character in the Harry Potter series, who would it be? Ah, to answer that question first, I, I, there really is no one. Um, I personally thought I would have made a great Hermione, but... <laughs> they thought otherwise. Um, Hagrid, I don't know. But no, Draco, to be honest with you, I'm hoping they're going to remake them in 20 years and I get to play Lucius. I'm not sure. That'd be good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like that idea, right? Um, 
Sorry, your first question was, uh, yes, yeah, best part about playing Draco. I feel very lucky, actually, because the rest of the 12 kids or whatever it is that started when we were 11 years old, a lot of them are very similar to their, um, to their characters. And what, one of the best things that I had to do was to play the complete opposite. I, I, I hope you guys uh, believe me when I say I'm actually a half-decent guy in real life. <laughs> and Draco is, the complete <laughs> Draco is the complete polar opposite. So any, any opportunity for an actor to, to play someone as far opposite you as possible is uh, always fun. Thank you, lovely. Hi, Tom. Hi there. Okay, I have kind of like a two-part question. All right, sure, hit me with it. Okay, the first one, what would be your dream role as an actor? And two, if you can make your own film like who, to star in, who would be your top co-star and top director? That's a tough one. Um, I have a handful of actors and directors, but I have had such a great time working with David Yates, who, who directed the last four films. He, without question, is the, is the reason why I'm, I'm very passionate about filmmaking. Uh, to be honest with you, I was kind of four or five films in thinking, I'm not sure whether I really want to do this. Uh, I thought there could be some other calling for me in life, but David pretty much single-handedly made me realize how damn lucky I was, and also you know, what, how much fun it is actually to make films. So uh, as far as co-stars, Again, I hate to bring up old co-stars, but me and Daniel have always said we'd love to do a film where I'm the hero, <laughs> and he's the villain. <laughs> One day, right? One day. That's what we said. We'd only ever work together again with that stipulation in mind. So yeah, you never know. Sorry, what was your, what was your first part? I've gone off on a tangent, um, <laughs> as I always do. What would be your dream role, like if you can play any person sure. dead or alive? I, I'd like to say, you know, I don't want to put any, any uh, constraints, really, whatever comes my way, but... I'm lying, James Bond. <laughs> yeah. If not, if not, I'll happily settle for the villain, the cat-stroking Bond villain. That's my, those are my goals in life right there. Can you uh, do a line from James Bond? Name's Bond. James Bond. <laughs> I think we're a few decades off that, yeah, but we'll see, all right, we'll see. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, lovely. Uh, what would be your other job? If you said, you know, you were thinking about changing jobs? Uh... I made a terrible statement once that I wanted to become a... Um, well, all sorts, really. I, I wanted to do music. I wanted to do uh, agricultural work. I wanted to do fishing. All sorts. So, yeah. Um, but evidently, I've realized that acting's pretty cool. So Yeah, uh, a lot cooler than fishing. Well, fish. I, I don't like, know about that. Fishing on the side. Yeah, fishing on the side. Well said. Well said. All right. Okay, I feel someone has to ask this. Have you seen a very Potter musical? Yeah. <laughs> I will say, every, I've only, like I said, I've only done a handful of these conventions, but everyone I go to, there is at least two or three people that ask me this question. And uh, every time I shamefully say, I have not seen the whole thing. I've, I've seen, I know, I know, strike me down. But then again, someone told me it was three hours long. That's, that's quite a YouTube video, man, Christ. Um, but I've heard fantastic things, and I also heard that I was wrongly cast in the Harry Potter film. <laughs> There is someone far superior. Um, I'm yet to meet her, but I hear she's done a wonderful, wondrous job. Thank you, lovely. I appreciate the question.